Welcome to the global defense battle. The Dhanush Howitzer is an indigenously developed artillery system from India, originating as an upgraded version of the Swedish Bofors FH-77B. Manufactured by the Ordnance Factory Board, it is a towed howitzer designed for long-range indirect fire support on the battlefield. The development of Dhanush began in the early 2010s, with its induction into the Indian Army starting in 2019. On the other hand, the M109A5 is a self-propelled howitzer developed in the United States, widely used by several countries, including Pakistan. It is part of the M109 series, first introduced in the 1960s, with the A5 variant incorporating modernized features like extended range and improved fire control systems. Manufactured by BAE Systems and its predecessors, the M109A5 is an upgraded version of earlier M109 models, retaining the mobility of a tank-like chassis. Pakistan acquired these howitzers to strengthen its mobile artillery capabilities, addressing its need for rapid deployment and precision in mountainous and plains warfare. And today, we will compare both of these howitzers, India's Dhanush versus Pakistan's M109A5. So, let's start. Coming to the design first, the Dhanush is a 155mm towed howitzer. It features a 45 caliber barrel, extending approximately 8.06 meters in length and weighing around 2,790 kilograms. The width and height of the Dhanush howitzer are not explicitly stated in available sources. The overall weight of the Dhanush system is about 12,700 kilograms, which is approximately 700 kilograms heavier than the original 155mm 39 caliber Bofors gun due to its longer barrel and additional systems. The design includes a high-efficiency muzzle brake to manage recoil and is equipped with advanced sighting systems for improved accuracy. As a towed artillery piece, it requires a separate vehicle for mobility and is designed for deployment in various terrains, providing long-range fire support. On the other hand, the M109A5 is a self-propelled 155mm howitzer built on a tracked, armored chassis, providing mobility and protection for its crew. It features a 39 caliber M284 cannon, offering an extended range compared to earlier models. The vehicle's overall length is approximately 9.18 meters, with a width of 3.15 meters and a height of 3.27 meters, including the mounted .50 caliber machine gun. The combat weight is about 25,000 kilograms. The design includes a fully rotating turret, allowing for 360-degree firing capability, and is equipped with both manual and hydraulic systems for elevation and traverse. Its self-propelled nature enables it to move with mechanized units, providing responsive fire support. Talking about caliber and performance, the Dhanush uses a 155mm L45 caliber main gun. The L45 means the barrel length is 45 times the diameter of the bore, making it approximately 6.97 meters long. This longer barrel allows projectiles to gain higher velocity, increasing their range and destructive power. The Dhanush can fire at targets up to 38 kilometers with standard ammunition and up to 42 kilometers with specialized shells. Its rate of fire is impressive, with a burst rate of 3 rounds in 15 seconds, an intense rate of 15 rounds in 3 minutes, and a sustained rate of 60 rounds per hour. Factors like advanced automation, better ammunition handling, and efficient cooling systems support its superior fire rate and range. On the other hand, the M109A5 features a 155mm L39 caliber main gun. The L39 indicates the barrel length is 39 times the bore diameter, equating to about 6.04 meters, shorter than the Dhanush. This shorter barrel limits its muzzle velocity, affecting its range and power. It has a maximum range of 22 kilometers with standard projectiles and up to 30 kilometers with rocket-assisted shells. Its rate of fire reaches a maximum of 4 rounds per minute, with a sustained rate of 1 round per minute. Factors affecting its performance include a manual loading system, mobility focus, and a need for additional cooling due to prolonged firing. Both are effective in their roles, but the Dhanush delivers greater firepower in stationary artillery operations. Talking about automation, the Dhanush incorporates significant automation in its loading and firing processes. It features an automatic gun alignment and positioning system, which utilizes an enhanced tactical computer for onboard ballistic computations. This system streamlines target acquisition and firing solutions, reducing manual input and enhancing accuracy. The fire control system includes a muzzle velocity radar and an inertial navigation system-based sighting system capable of receiving GPS updates, further improving precision and operational efficiency. On the other hand, the M109A-5 also integrates automation in its operations. It is equipped with an automatic gun laying system and a tactical computer for ballistic calculations, facilitating streamlined target acquisition and firing solutions. The fire control system includes position and navigation systems, as well as automated communication systems, enhancing operational effectiveness. While both systems are advanced, the Dhanush's integration of GPS updates and enhanced tactical computer may offer a slight edge in precision targeting. 
Coming to the ammunition type, the Thunush is compatible with a variety of 155mm NATO standard ammunition types, making it highly versatile on the battlefield. It can fire extended range full bore base bleed and boat tail rounds, which are designed to extend its range by reducing air resistance and improving aerodynamics. High explosive extended range shells provide a powerful impact over long distances, while the high explosive 77B shells are used for general purpose destructive firepower. Additionally, the Thunush can deploy smoke rounds for concealment and illumination rounds for night operations, giving it flexibility in tactical scenarios. These ammunition options enable the Thunush to effectively engage a wide variety of targets with precision and destructive capability. On the other hand, the M109A5 also utilizes 155mm NATO standard ammunition and is equipped for various mission requirements. It can fire standard high explosive rounds for effective destruction of enemy positions, as well as smoke rounds for creating battlefield concealment. Illumination rounds allows it to provide light during night operations, enhancing its effectiveness in low visibility conditions. Additionally, it can fire rocket-assisted projectiles, which extend its range and enable it to strike distant targets with greater efficiency. While it lacks some of the advanced ammunition options of the Thunush, the M109A5's ability to use NATO standard rounds ensures it remains a reliable and adaptable artillery piece. Overall, the Thunush's modern design and advanced ammunition handling systems contribute to its superior accuracy, making it better suited for precision artillery strikes. Talking about the chassis and mobility, the Thunush is a towed artillery system meaning it lacks a self-propelled chassis and relies on external vehicles for movement. This design allows for deployment in various terrains but requires additional time and resources to position. The Thunush is equipped with a 95kW auxiliary power unit, enabling limited self-movement at speeds greater than 5 km per hour, primarily for positioning adjustments. Its off-road performance depends on the towing vehicle's capabilities and the terrain's nature. The Thunush does not provide inherent armor protection for its crew, as it is an open system without an enclosed cabin. On the other hand, the M109A5 is built on a tracked, armored chassis, granting it self-propelled mobility similar to that of a tank. This design enables it to traverse various terrains, including challenging off-road conditions, and keep pace with mechanized units. Its tracked system provides stability and traction, enhancing its operational flexibility. It offers armor protection for its crew, safeguarding against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments. The enclosed cabin ensures crew safety during operations, allowing for sustained engagement in hostile environments. Overall, the M109A5 surpasses the Thunush in mobility due to its self-propelled, track chassis, which allows for rapid repositioning and movement across diverse terrains without external assistance. Coming to the cost, the Thunush howitzer is priced at approximately $2.11 million per unit. This cost reflects its indigenous development and production in India, leveraging local resources and technology transfers from the original Bofors FH-77B design. In contrast, the M109A5 howitzer has a unit cost that varies based on production and upgrade specifics. For instance, a 2010 contract for 24 units amounted to $275 million, averaging about $11.46 million per unit. The Thunush, being a towed system with simpler mechanical components, is expected to have lower maintenance and operational costs over its lifespan. While the M109A5, with its self-propelled design and complex systems, may incur higher maintenance and operational costs. The Thunush offers a more economical option in terms of initial acquisition and potentially lower life cycle costs. The Thunush has seen a gradual production and deployment process. As of December 2023, Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited delivered 26 new Thunush howitzers to the Indian Army, bringing the total number in service to 50 units. The Indian Army had initially ordered 114 Thunush guns in 2019, with plans to complete deliveries by 2022. However, due to production delays, it is now anticipated that all units will be delivered by mid-2026. The first regiment equipped with Thunush howitzers became operational near the line of actual control. Currently, there are no publicly available records of Thunush howitzers being exported to other countries. On the other hand, the M109A5's exact production numbers for the A5 variant are not specified, but the M109 series has seen extensive production, with over 7,700 units delivered since its introduction in the 1960s. As of 2024, Pakistan operates approximately 115 units of it. These artillery units are deployed across various regions, including plains and mountainous areas, to provide mobile fire support for the Pakistani armed forces. It has also been exported to several countries, including Austria, which received its first production unit in May 1997. Additionally, Latvia has acquired these from Austria, with the last units delivered in 2018, enhancing its artillery capabilities within NATO operations. In summary, both howitzers are powerful artillery systems tailored to meet the distinct needs of their users and highlight the evolving priorities in artillery warfare, catering to different combat scenarios and military doctrines. Which howitzer do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? 
let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons, see you in the next video.